Okay, so this clip is not in response to any particular student question. It's more that in the midst of recording some other clips, which I'm, I've been doing just this moment, it spontaneously came to me that I should discuss an important way for some of you who are on the cusp of passing versus not passing. Uh, one way we can really increase the chance significantly of you passing. Now, I know many of you are going to be scoring higher, okay? So some a potential value point for you is what you could potentially do to just further increase your score, further drive and, and improve security for you as far as achieving the score you want, okay? But as I said, the focus of this clip is just how do, if you're on the cusp of passing versus not passing, how can we drastically improve the chance that you're going to fucking pass this USMLE, okay? So... Uh, before we get started, allow me to be an asshole like I usually am. Tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for your family. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram, uh, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the original point of this question, which was uh, an important way for those of you who are really just needing to get over that hump to pass the USMLE, how can we get you there? As well as those who are scoring higher, how can we augment further security for you so we can definitely get you that score you're looking for? And the answer is we need to have you focus on endocrine while you are getting closer to your exam and patch that topic the fuck up. Now, I've made another clip, whether I've posted it or not, at the time that I'm posting this clip, I don't know, I post things in random order, but there's gonna be two clips floating around, okay? So endocrine is an important topic to make sure you have patched up right before your exam. Students, who, put it this way, if I ever have a Skype session with a student who comes to me, who let's say has already failed the USMLE once or twice, as an example, and just like finally needs to pass or has failed comp, let's say four or five times, and we, we need to pass or else we're out of med school, that type of situation. It's always to my observation that the person's endocrine is fucking terrible. Okay, I could just be like, all right, aldosterone's high or give you like 32 year old girl with an abdominal brewery and she has elevated blood pressure, that's fiber muscular dysplasia, the implication being your renin and aldosterone are high. And I would just say, what's your sodium, potassium, P, uh, pH, and bicarb, and your CO2, okay? That's just one example. We're not going to make this a content clip, but I am I want to mention that if a person has struggled to pass, it's always to my observation that his or her endocrine sucks jack fucking shit, okay? So PTH, high and low, vitamin D, aldo high and low, ADH, high and low, thyroid, okay, kidney, hypothalamic pituitary. We need to make sure your arrow questions are patched up. Now, my high-yield endocrine PDF is pretty fucking good, okay, and I will link it below, all right, in the comments slash description of this video, you'll see the high-yield endocrine PDF linked. It's not an overly dramatic PDF. It's not as long as many of my other ones, but it will hit home important points as far as which direction do you expect the arrows to go for your endocrine. And if you're struggling to pass, that's really going to help you out, okay? Like if your endocrine's good, you're going to be in pretty good shape to actually pass your exam. You're only not passing because you're getting easy questions wrong on, let's say, aldosterone or PTH. You can't miss those questions, okay? And if you're already scoring pretty high and you say, well, Michael, you know, how am I going to ensure an even higher score? It's making sure you don't fuck up easy questions. Okay. So just making sure your endocrine is solidified. All right. That's the short value point here. If your endocrine is strong, you really will have a much better chance of passing the step. So, you know, the deal, I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.